Hi everyone, welcome back to Street Cam. I'm Gerald from class F45 and today I'll be showing you how to do problem solving for Hart's question in chemistry, chapter 1. So here's an example of a Hart's question in chapter 1. So I'm going to be reading this question. So plumbum has an average atomic mass of 207.19 amu. The three major isotopes of plumbum are plumbum 206 with its isotopic mass of 205.98 amu, plumbum 207 with its isotopic mass of 206.98 amu, and plumbum 208 with its isotopic mass of 207.98 amu. So if the isotopes of plumbum 207 and 12 plumbum 208 are present in equal amounts, calculate the percent abundance of plumbum 206, plumbum 207, and plumbum 208. So we need to extract the information that is given to you by the question, alright? So that's the first thing that we need to do. So what is the info given to you by the question? So the first info is along the first line. The average atomic mass of plumbum is equal to 207.19 amu, alright? And then throughout the question, we've been given an abundance of information, such as plumbum 206 isotopic mass is 205.98 amu, and then plumbum 207 isotopic mass is 206.98 amu, and plumbum 208 with its isotopic mass of 207.98 amu. But the most important information that's given to you by the question is along the lines of if the isotopes of plumbum 207 and plumbum 208 are present in equal amounts. That means we can safely assume that the isotopic abundance of plumbum 207 is equal to the isotopic abundance of plumbum 208. Alright, so that's all the information that's given. So now what does the question want? The question wants that the percent abundance of plumbum 206, plumbum 207, and plumbum 208. So we need to find the per percent abundance, all right? So the first step is we need to assume. We need to assume. That's the most important step. If not, all the other, all your other workings will be quite useless. So assume that the isotopic abundance for plumbum 207 is equal to x. It's, then you can also assume that the isotopic abundance for plumbum 208 is also equals to x. Why? Because remember that the information that we got from the question is that the isotopic abundance for PB207 is equal to the isotopic abundance for PB208. So we can use the same variables because it has the same value. So now we can find, so find the isotopic abundance for PB206, which is we need to take 100 100 is taken from the total isotopic abundance for isotopes, 100%, right? So 100 minus by x minus by x, or the same thing as 100 minus by 2x, okay? So the next step is we need to use the uh, average atomic mass formula, which is the total of chemi over chi. So chi is an isotopic abundance, mi is the isotopic mass. We need to find the total of for chemi and chi. Sure. So a more definitive um, use of this formula for this question is like this. Um, average atomic mass is equal to the isotopic abundance for PB206 times by the mass isotopic mass for PB206. Okay. And then you need to add the isotopic abundance for plumbum 207 times by its isotopic mass of plumbum 207 and then add again the isotopic abundance for plumbum 208 with its isotopic mass then divide by 100 because the total isotopic abundance is 100 so after knowing getting to know this formula we can plug in all the the values that we have been given by the question and it will look something like this so 207.19 is equals to 200 5.98 times by 100 minus 2x plus by 206.98 times by x plus 207.98 times by x divided by 100. So you can actually make this more simple by moving the 100 to the other side and times by 207.19 because in maths we know that we need to expand and then we need to isolate all the numbers to just find the value of x. 
So you'll get something like 20,719 equals to 20,598 minus by 411.96x plus by 206.98x plus by 207.98x. So now we need to move all the numbers to one side and all the numbers with the x to one side because we need to isolate all the numbers without variables and all the numbers with variables. And we'll get something like this, 20,719 minus by 20,598 equals to the negative of 411.96x plus by 206.98x plus by 207.98x. Then finally, we'll get around 121 equal to 3x. And then to find x, we need to move 3 to the other side, which means that 121 will be divided by 3. And then finally, you'll get x is equal to 40.33. So you don't have to actually put a unit. You don't have to put the percent right now because we know the value of x, but we haven't given the final answer, right? So now is the final step, step three. So remember that we already assumed, so we just have to plug in the values that we, are, we have found from step two and plug it in it's right here. So we know that the isotopic abundance for 207 and 208 are the same so we can safely assume right here safely write 40.33% 40 is the isotopic abundance for plum plumbum 207 and plumbum 208 has also the same isotopic abundance right so to find the isotopic abundance for 206 you need to calculate again and plug in inside the formula that we have written for it which is 100 minus by 2 times by 40.33 and you'll get 19.34 percent remember that we need to use units for the last one we need to use the, uh, the percent because we need to find the percent abundance remember because because the final step this whole step you're gonna get one mark here and then you're gonna get one mark here and you're going to get one mark in here and you're also going to get one mark in the assume the step one okay and that's it you that's it that's how you do a hot question for chapter one to find the isotopic abundance of an isotope um, thank you for watching um, please subscribe and comment down below thank you